Monday School is a chance for Wally to share what he learned at church and prove that he went. So at my house, we watch a lot of HGTV shows. Same. And, you know, somebody taking something old, making it new again, like Fixer Upper, Chip and Joanna Gaines. You know, they make uh, beautiful homes from ones that other people have given up on because they see the beauty that other people don't see. And our lives are kind of like that, too. We're Fixer uppers, uppers. We have a lot of damage. But Jesus doesn't see the broken, dilapidated condition of our souls, he sees the beauty that no one else sees. And I love this analogy, too, because Jesus was also a carpenter by trade, so he's also like a master craftsman in our lives, and he can build something beautiful from the twisted and bent boards uh, that we've created. And so, uh, you know, with this... Jesus clings to the broken and the desperate. That's what I really love. Like, he he'll, he has always had a heart for those people, you yes. know? And, and so for us, it's great because there are so many stories in the Bible of people reaching out to Jesus in desperation. And our pastor was talking about how, like, desperation isn't always a bad thing because it can lead to dependency on Jesus. Mm. And, and he looked at that one story of the lady, who, Jesus is in the crowd, and she reaches out and touches his garment, and she's healed, and he looks around and is like, who touched me, mm-hmm. you know? I believe he knew who touched him. Yeah, you know? of like, course. I mean, he's the son of God. Right. He has to know. But I think that he asked that question so that she would stand forward. She would tell her story and then everyone would see the miracle that happened versus her just getting the miracle and scooting off. Mm-hmm. Then something could happen. But I love what he said was he said, your faith has healed you. He didn't say, I healed you. You know, you've been healed. He said, your faith has healed you. And and I think that that's really important for us today because our faith needs to be bigger than our biggest fear. And and, and maybe you're waiting on God for your miracle, you know. And if that's the case, I would encourage you, don't give up because God's timing is not ours. And when things look darkest, uh, his light will shine brighter than ever. Uh, But we have to have faith and truly believe in his power over our pain and that he has a purpose for everything that we're going through whether it's to help refine us or whether it's to be there for somebody else you know he has a plan yeah and it it is faith so it means you have to believe without seeing and so sometimes that's the hardest part of being a christian and i'm not telling you this you know to help you out as much as i am or like to be preachy i think i'm telling myself to remind myself of this truth because my own lack of faith limits god's power in my life and i need to have the faith that Jesus is who he said he is. He'll do what he said he will do. And he's faithful, you know, and because mm-hmm. sometimes even I struggle with that. And I doubt, well, do you really have this? Or do you need do yeah. you need me to take this? I'll yeah. get this. <laughs> yeah. you know what? Yeah. And I'm, I'm my own worst enemy in that case. So maybe <laughs> that lands with you today. And that's our Monday school.